Hi, good evening. My name is Dr. Sonal Kumar Jha. I'm a general and laparoscopic surgeon. I'm working with Lee Crest Hospital, Vasundhara, Ghaziabad as a consultant. Today we are talking about hemorrhoids in layman term, which we call as piles and in local language in small districts and town, we call it Bawasi. Hemorrhoids basically is dilatation of the venules in the rectum or anal canal. This is basically a lifestyle disease which is due to less intake of the fiber diet and more of intake of uh, fried foods, spicy and irregular bowel habits. There are four grades of piles, namely grade 1, 2, 3 and 4. Grade 1 is uh, when there is no protrusion of mass from the anal orifice. That is, there is no protrusion of mass while we defecate from the anal orifice. Number 2, the mass protrudes out but by itself it gets back inside. Grade 3 is the protrusion of mass from the anal orifice but it does not go inside itself but will have to manipulate that is by using the finger or uh, by hand it is manipulated back into the rectum and there is grade 4 hemorrhoids in which there is uh, outward uh, pouching of the mass from the anal canal and it does not goes back so there are four grades of hemorrhoids grade 1 2 3 and 4 see uh, mostly hemorrhoids are painless it is accompanied with bleeding per rectum but there is a term known as thrombos external piles thrombos external piles are basically the piles which are external and it does not go back inside and it is uh, thrombos thrombos in layman term if you want to term it is is stuck up there that leads to pain so in thrombos external piles there is pain along with bleeding per rectum otherwise mostly hemorrhoids doesn't occur with pain there is only bleeding per rectum hemorrhoids are basically lifestyle diseases and uh, as i said you earlier in the clip so it is mainly due to the less intake of the high fiber diet the patients who tend to have more of constipation and they strain a lot while defecation number three long starving improper bowel habits so these multifactorial stuff leads to hemorrhoids and in various other comorbidities or diseases or post surgeries like in pregnancy after cesarean section is performed or after the normal vaginal delivery also because there is uh, the weakening of the pelvic floor muscles so that leads to on a long term cause that leads to formation of hemorrhoids likely i said again less consumption of water less consumption of high fiber diet more intake of spicy and non-veg diet of fried food items and irregular bowel habits these all contribute majorly to the risk factors which contribute to the condition named as hemorrhoids daily habit if you take more of the spicy food fried food less intake of water and uh, there is a habit in many of the individuals while they go to defecate in their washroom they spend a lot of time there straining so that prolonged habit can lead to formation of hemorrhoids not exactly pregnancy is a risk factor of piles but in most of the pregnant females uh, the incidences of hemorrhoids and anal fissures have been seen It is not a hereditary disease, it's a lifestyle disease. Excessive straining, not every time the diarrhea causes hemorrhoids. The people who tend to have diarrhea all through the life, which is not possible, may lead to formation of hemorrhoids. But uh, clinically speaking, not necessarily that diarrhea will lead to hemorrhoids. infants and units mostly it is anal fissure fissure in ano is more highly prevalent in babies as comparative to hemorrhoids
yes most of the hemorrhoids are painless like i spoke earlier while i was explaining about the grades of the hemorrhoids so only when it is a thrombose external piles it can lead to pain otherwise most of the hemorrhoids are presented painless only with bleeding per rect Piles is diagnosed by clinical examination that is we do rectal examination and preceded by proctoscopy in which we uh, notify the position of the hemorrhoids for further management course. See there are two mainstays of treatment one is conservative and other is surgical. In conservative what we do we advise the patient to improve the lifestyle habits, take more of high fiber diet, drink plenty of water and uh, do sets bath sets bath is basically we say the patient to take a tub with lukewarm water and sit and strain it for at least three times a day and each duration should be up to 10 minutes then we give some creams and laxatives so that at a certain point can control it if it is not bleeding as presentation but if it does not subside by giving the conservative management then we advise the patient for the surgical approach now in surgery we do three types of surgeries that is open hemorrhoidectomy second is stepler hemorrhoidectomy and third is laser what we would call it as a laser surgery look again in laser surgery is only beneficial for the external hemorrhoids it's not beneficial for internal hemorrhoids and stepler hemorrhoid per se is more beneficial for grade 2 internal hemorrhoids so these are the three formats of surgery which is being performed apart from the conservative approach Yes, definitely it uh, eases down the local flora of the anal canal, which uh, causes less of discomfort and it also seizes the swollen venules. So patient tends to bleed less because of that. So yes, it does affect, it does help in hemorrhoids. See, uh, as I mentioned very profoundly that it is a lifestyle disease. So you have to take more of water, more of high fiber diet. You have to avoid constipation. You have to avoid having spicy, more of spicy and fried foods and more of non-veg diet. So that would precede it in a good way and it would help in avoiding these kind of anal conditions. See the best food for uh, piles or hemorrhoids like I mentioned you is high fiber diet like papaya, take more of uh, water, more of green leafy vegetables and the worst food is fried and spicy diet. Any fried and spicy diet will worsen the condition. See the avoid spending a lot of time inside even if you have a normal bowel habit. Many people have a habit of using telephones, reading newspapers so that in a long duration of time weaken your pelvic floor muscle because you tend to strain without use and you just tend to spend time inside. So don't waste extra time when you go for defecation and in a while I'll come down to Kegel exercise. So what that exercise is I'll let you know ahead. so far not documented so i cannot comment on that but as far as my wisdom is concerned i don't recommend vaseline to my patients definitely yes as i mentioned it's a lifestyle disease you improvise your lifestyle you won't be having it avoid constipation have more of water intake have less of fried and spicy diet in your daily habits and definitely you can avoid it It will cause discomfort, it will cause bleeding per rectum and as I said maybe external hemorrhoids which get thrombos will be painful. So it's pain with bleeding per rectum. No, it subsides, the dilated venule stays there, it subsides, it's improvised and up till when you can control your lifestyle habit it won't recur. Avoid spicy non-veg diet, drink plenty of water, avoid constipation.
not necessarily at the same place it won't come where it was earlier like if we have operated for 11 o'clock 7 o'clock so on the same spot it won't come but yes if you carry on the same kind of lifestyle definitely somewhere in the rectum or nl canal it will happen we provide the patient with conservative management see the bleeding per rectum if it is active bleeding we suggest the patient for surgery if there is active bleeding on clinical examination we don't give the conservative approach we suggest the patient that he or she should go for surgical intervention so surgically we excise the hemorrhoids like i explained there are three methods of surgery either of the modality we use to excise it off and that is the mainstay of treatment for bleeding hemorrhoids hemorrhoids is not cancerous it is simply the dilatation of the venules in the venules means the venous plexus the venous plexus from which the blood flows that gets dilated and it's not at all cancerous it's a benign condition but yes it can be painful if untreated